In this tutorial, we'll be going over the most common problems when exporting models over from Blender to Unity, or just when putting models in Unity in general. We'll be going over how to fix objects that are either invisible in-game but not in the scene editor, or parts of an object that are missing. The first error we'll be going over how to fix is flipped and invisible faces of the mesh. In Unity and in pretty much every other game engine, it's set by default to only read and display the front sides of the normals or mesh faces. But how would you know if the face on your 3D model is facing the right way? Well, we have this option in the mesh option panel that we can use called back face culling. This allows Blender to only make the front parts of the faces visible and the back parts invisible. And as you can see, this one part of the wall is facing the wrong way because this part is invisible and it'll appear like this in Unity. But fixing this problem inside the Unity software can cause problems with the lighting and game performance. So let's fix it here in Blender before we export it into Unity. Right click on your object with the flip faces and press tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode. Then hold shift and right click on all the faces that are flipped or invisible. Then press ctrl N on your keyboard. If the faces are still flipped, go onto the panel on the very right and click the checkbox to where it says inside. This basically flips the current side of the faces inside out, or you know, just flipping them around. This easily fixes the problem, and now you're ready to export the model. The final error we'll be fixing is the problem of having objects being present in the scene editor, but invisible in the game window. As you can see, I have two orange cones in my scene and in the game window. Both are visible in each one. However, when I press the play button and activate the game, one of the cones go missing. The cone on the left is perfectly fine, but the one on the right is not visible. However, it is still there in the game's data because you can still interact with the cone, just not see it. So how the heck do we go about fixing this? Well, when troubleshooting, I like to compare the data and the settings of something that works versus something that doesn't work. One of the major causes of invisibility in Unity can be due to the object being on a different layer. If we switch it back to the default layer on the top right, this may fix the problem. However, if it still doesn't fix it, the problem might be coming from the mesh render component of the object. If we look at the missing cones components, we can see that it has a skinned mesh renderer, or basically a different type of mesh renderer. Because if we go back to the non-missing cones components, we can see that it just has the standard mesh renderer. So all we really have to do is swap the renderer. Click on the gear icon of the skin mesh render component and click remove component. This, obviously, removes the component and as well as the object's material since there's nothing to render. Click on the add component button and search for the mesh renderer. When you find it, click on it to add it and our object should now be visible again. But with the purple color. The purple color is basically the color for a missing texture. However, if you still have the material file of the cone before or the object before, we can still add it to the mesh render on the bottom to where it says element. In your project window, search for the material of your object that you made before and drag it into the element slot to where it says none. And there you go, problem solved. These are common problems that happen not only when exporting things over from Blender to Unity, but in Unity in general. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful or just interesting to know. If it did help you, leave a like to show that, hey, this video actually solves the issues. If you want to see more, subscribe now. However, this channel is mainly based off of Blender tutorials rather than Unity, but you will see a Unity tutorial here and then. Thanks for watching and recording all this was frustrating because there's like 300 people outside my house mowing the lawn and it really sucks because I'm trying to record all the scenes in my house.